Hello YouTube and welcome to Fast Road Bike. Today is a very exciting day so stay tuned because it's a bike build up. So as you all know if you've been following me I had a specialized Tarmac Sport in this vibrant orange color absolutely unique it was a 2015 model and I had it for two and a half years and it has been an absolute amazing bike to ride it's been absolutely fantastic um, but it has to go and I am gonna miss this a lot every time I look at the color I absolutely loved it because this orange color only reminds me was one thing yeah definitely reminds me with an orange Lamborghini this is how good this bike was and I would miss it I miss it so much however I've got a new exciting frame which I'm gonna share with you now so let's have a look at this so the bike I've gone for is the Planet X EC130E in matte black and glossy decals it's got an English threaded bottom bracket which is good solid and stiff it has got a tapered fork Full carbon, nice seat tube, and the British flag. So, very nice bike. It's uh, an award winning. Uh, the frame weighs, including the fork, 1771 grams. So, it is lighter than the Tarmac Sport, uh, nearly a kilo I think, and it's very nice, it's meant to be an aero bike, I like the shape of the forks, they're fairly chunky compared to the Tarmac Sport and other bike forks. So. I'm going to start building this up, let's go over the components and then we'll build it up and we'll come back when it's complete. So first of all the group set, I'm going to go with the SRAM Red, chain set 5236 GXP and it's just under 600 grams very light very nice and with that I'm gonna go with the GPX bottom bracket as you can see it here comes with two spacers and I'm gonna use the bottom bracket tool and then torque it to 50 newton meters. I've got SRAM red rear mech, SRAM red front mech, and I've gone for the SRAM force brakes with Swiss stop pads, and obviously the SRAM red shifters so it's the wireless red e tap after the group set i've got the nice data handlebar 0100 very light very nice finish it's aluminium and it's slightly oval shape so it should be comfortable in my hands 
it's a 40 centimeter and it's got shallow drops so I was uh, very careful, careful choosing this and then the seat matching the handlebar tape so handlebar DSP lizard skins 2.5 millimeter in a nice blue that is going to be the theme on my bike and a carbon seat now the carbon seat is from Aliexpress I'm gonna try it it's very good finish very good quality for 14 pounds I thought I'll give it a go and see how it goes and the rails are carbon they're marked and how they attach to the seat looks good so I'll see how comfortable is that because it's no padded and goes along with that obviously my Mavic Sirium 1400 grams with the Continental Grand Prix 4000 S2 tires I am however thinking about buying new tires and they are going to be the Michelin Pro because they've got a blue sidewall so uh, watch out for this when I buy them and I will review them after the first ride so these are the components with the fork I've got the tapered headset cartridge bearing one and a half inch and the crown race some grease assembly grease and uh, bike grease some allen keys and um, let's get started and build up the bike so stay tuned we'll come back after the bike is complete good morning and hello back and welcome to fast road bike now I've finished building up my new bike and that is what it looks like in blue like I said in the first video Planet X GC130 matte black and I've uh, got the blue bar tape that goes with the seat and that is the full bike as it is built as it is as you can see it the bike weighs 7.4 kilograms with the pedals and then once you add the bottle cage and the wahoo and the light on the seat post it's 7.6 kg so much lighter than my uh, previous Tarmac Sport that was weighing around 8.4 kg so yeah there's a lot of uh, weight saving with the new bike so let's go over the components once again so first off the group set is the SRAM RED ETAP so chain set SRAM RED front mech wireless ready tab and the rear mech with digirit oversized pulley wheels 1132 cassette Shimano brakes 
our strong force nice brakes the wheels are the Mavic Serium Pro SL light wheels shifters again drum ready tap did a handlebar nice and light I used a specialized stem kept that I also kept the specialized headset and it went alright with the fork which I took the measurement went out put uh, the stem and handlebar on and made sure that the bike fits me correctly and then I cut the tube I took it to uh, my bike shop and uh, they cut the tube for me and then do a whole element bolt and the RXL SL uh, carbon seat which uh, it is solid but I did go around the block for two rounds and uh, surprisingly it is comfortable everyone saw this saddle thought oh that is gonna be harsh it isn't for me everyone has uh, different preferences but uh, it felt it felt comfortable uh, there was no harshness uh, sitting on this saddle uh, obviously I will review this once I go out for a longer ride and I will see how comfortable that is over longer rides so there you have it this is the bike the full bike I like the color theme in blue with the matte black and uh, there are a few accessories to go on there so I'll go over the accessories now which uh, they're very good different to what I had so the new accessory that I got is it's not a saddle bag it's a replacement for a saddle bag it's a bottle tool or a bottle for the tools so it goes in the cage and it weighs this weighs 75 grams and you'll be surprised I'll put it on the scales it's nice and tidy put it on the scales seventy five grams and you would be surprised I didn't think it was going to be lighter than my saddle bag put the saddle bag on it's 106 grams so that is good I was happy with that not that uh, 31 grams makes any difference or a big difference but the good thing about this is I don't need to have a flapping saddle bag on my carbon seat post and carbon rails on the on the saddle. So I don't want that. And uh, this is also neat and tidy. Uh, while if if we look. At the saddle bag all this I used to took it in here but it used to come out the velcro after a while starts going so uh, I had this for a while and uh, it saved me well uh, so I like this I like this very much uh, and it wasn't expensive either I would be surprised it was it was only one pound so let me open this and I'll show you inside so here we go this is the tool bottle and uh, this is inside you can put all the tools so I'm gonna put them 
I'm going to put the Mavic Multi Tool, my tubes, in the tubes, and the Multi Tool. So uh, it will fit. I will uh, I will tidy this a bit, and it it should fit. Uh, and then you can always put any cards in here or money or anything. That is very cool. I like this very much. So that is a very good accessory if you don't want anything on your uh, saddle rails or seat post. So there you have it. This is the full bike. Obviously I'm uh, going to put the bottle cage on uh, with my uh, water bottle. But that is the bike. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. Also, if you have any questions regarding the build, let me know. The next video is going to be answering these questions and reviewing the bike after I go on a long ride. So stay tuned and I look forward to reviewing this bike and post it on YouTube. So until then, thanks for watching Fast Road Bike and I'll see you later.